Yes, so in, in celebration of Breastfeeding Awareness Month, I'd like to welcome Dr. Diane Spatz, who's going to share her expertise for mothers and families around breastfeeding. Dr. Spatz is Professor of Perinatal Nursing and Nutrition at the University of Pennsylvania School of Nursing, where she shares a joint appointment as nurse researcher and director of the lactation program at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Dr. Spatz is an active researcher, clinician, and educator who is internationally recognized for her work surrounding the use of human milk and breastfeeding, particularly in vulnerable populations. Dr. Spatz has been the principal or co-investigator for over 30 research grants, including several from the NIH. She has authored and co-authored over 75 peer-reviewed publications, and her 10-step model for human milk and breastfeeding in vulnerable infants has been implemented as the gold standard in NICU throughout the United States and other countries worldwide. Every day, Dr. Spatz and her work impacts the lives of countless families and their families. And we thank her today and this month especially for her excellence and leadership in this area. Thank you, Dr. Spatz. We've heard a lot in the news lately about dangers of, of sharing uh, donor milk. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and help uh, the public to understand a, a little bit about uh, the safety and the quality and the importance of of that for moms who either can't breastfeed or choose not to? Sure. So when we think about understanding the differences between mom's own milk and donor milk and what uh, some may call informal milk sharing or private arrangement milk sharing, um, the thing that one has to remember is when we're talking about a mom providing milk to her baby, her and her baby are always in sync. So she's going to be the ideal person to provide the ideal nutrition for her child. Now, if for some reason the mother was not able to make milk for her baby, when you think about the difference between donor milk and informally shared milk, donor milk, the mothers have gone through a very thorough screening process. Uh, it's more thorough than giving blood. So the mothers have to do a health history. They have to provide a health history on their baby. They have to undergo laboratory testing of their blood to make sure that they are free of disease. And the milk also is checked and it's also pasteurized. So with pasteurization, you are destroying any potential germs that might be in the milk. You actually check the milk after it's been pasteurized to ensure that nothing is growing in the milk. So with informal milk sharing, when mothers don't go through an improved milk donation process, that means there could be harmful bacteria um, or germs in that milk. And so that is the danger of when moms are casually or informally milk sharing. The reality is, is that some women choose to do this, mostly in the community setting, because they can't get access to donor milk. Right now in the United States, only about 40% of NICUs even use donor milk. And if every NICU used donor milk, as per the American Academy of Pediatrics recommendations, we would have a shortfall of donor milk. And um, that's why you will sometimes hear of people informally milk sharing. So, you know, I think it's really important for a family to understand what the differences are and understand the years and years and years of research behind donor milk being both a safe and efficacious product for feeding babies. Very good. Um, empowering parents with practical advice. Um, you know, you see this every day. How would you advise them to talk to their nurse practitioner or their doctor about donor milk for their child? So, first and foremost, 
I want to make sure that we're clear that donor milk is not a replacement to mom's own milk. So the first thing is I would want to make sure that we empower the mothers to be able to provide own milk for their baby. If they were not able to provide 100% of their own milk for their baby, I would encourage the mother to know the facts, do her research, go to the provider, whether it be a physician or nurse practitioner, and speak to them about the fact that they would like to have donor milk for their child. One of the things that we do um, for our mothers who deliver with us in our Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment is we actually bring up the topic of donor milk before they even deliver. So we want them to know that their own milk is the best, but if for any reason they run into a problem, we have donor milk as a bridge. So if I was advising a family who was pregnant, I would make, I would ask them to do the research on the hospital that they're delivering at. Make sure that that hospital has lactation support available. Make sure that that hospital has donor milk available if the need would arise. Mm -hmm.